We continue to learn things from childhood through old age. We learn things to become successful and happy. When you achieve financial affluence, career goals, or social status, you are considered to be successful. When you achieve stability and happiness in mind, you are considered to be happy. We must think about what and how to learn things to be truly successful and happy. You need to accumulate knowledge and skills to become successful with financial, social, and relational values of life. When you try to obtain knowledge and skills, you must store information in memory and internalize it to turn it into your ability. As you accumulate more knowledge, skills, and experiences, you have a better chance to become successful. When you accumulate knowledge and skills to obtain abilities, you learn things from other people who already have knowledge and skills. Knowledge and skills can be transferred from the one who has them to the one who does not have them yet. Then the learners must internalize what they have learned into their abilities by studying further or accumulating experiences. Problems may occur when you learn undesirable or distorted things in the process since you will have undesirable or distorted knowledge, skills, and abilities. Then you will pursue success and values of life in undesirable and distorted ways. For example, if you learn and study knowledge and skills on committing crimes, you will build abilities for committing crimes and pursue success and values of life through committing crimes. Or you may learn and employ knowledge and skills to damage other people destroying harmony and order in the society. Thus, what and how you learn and study knowledge and skills is important to become truly successful. If you are in a position to teach or guide other people to develop abilities for success, you must consider carefully and make sure that your teaching leads people to pursue success in the righteous and desirable way. When learners accumulate distorted knowledge and skills, it is very hard for them to adopt righteous and desirable knowledge and skills. Learning of any type takes continuous thinking, recognizing, and experiencing, and no one can readily realize that what they have thought and recognized is wrong. Unlearning and correcting what has already been learned is much more difficult than learning new things without any basis. When you achieve success with distorted knowledge and skills, many people will want to learn your knowledge and skills. Then you can easily disseminate distorted knowledge and skills to many people, accelerating the collapse of individuals and the society. Moreover, people with distorted knowledge and skills hardly realize or admit that their knowledge and skills are wrong, since they are their abilities and values of life. It takes a much shorter time to accumulate and transfer distorted knowledge and skills to the next generation than to unlearn and correct them. We all know that learning is important in pursuing success, but it is less known that what and how to learn for future success is crucial. Another component of learning in life is learning to become happy. Differently from learning to become successful in life, learning to become happy requires only unique personal experiences of emotions, and you cannot learn to become happy at all through accumulating knowledge and skills other people transfer to you. Emotions can be formed and sensed only by yourself, and learning all the knowledge and skills known to humanity on human emotions cannot form or generate your emotions. We learn about our emotions only through experiencing psychological interactions with other people in relationships. What you think and feel in psychological interactions is stored in your memory and with it, you gradually form your own unique standards of positive or negative emotions and standards of happiness. Emotions differently from knowledge and skills for success cannot be taught or transferred by other people who already have them. It is only you yourself who can teach yourself on what and how to feel through psychological interactions in relationships. When you learn about emotions and happiness in mind in the same way you learn knowledge and skills for success, your emotions necessarily become distorted since they are not what you actually feel. Distorted emotions are the main cause of destroying human relationships. When you learn how to promote positive emotions, how to become happy in relationships, and so on as knowledge and skills rather than 
through first-hand experiences, they are stored as factful information rather than as emotions in your memory. You may develop self-conviction that your knowledge about emotions is your emotions and reinforce the distorted emotional condition, being confused about what happiness is. You may even attempt to teach what happiness is as if you would transfer knowledge and skills to other people and promote distorted emotions here and there. When you learn about emotions as a type of knowledge education, you may experience the discrepancy between what you think and what you feel and develop psychological problems. When you learn about knowledge and skills for success, what and how to learn is important. But when you learn about emotions for happiness in mind, you don't have what and how of learning to start with. Emotions are supposed to be operated and recognized only within yourself, and they are not something to be taught or transferred from outside. One thing to be noted in developing your emotions for happiness in mind is that you need to at least understand how human mind and psychology operate. You need to know how to restore healthy psychology when you have stress and wounds in mind, which is inevitable in anyone's life. Also, you need to apply the operational mechanism of human mind and psychology in your daily life. With respect to learning to be happy, you should learn through experiencing and feeling based on accurate knowledge on the operational mechanism of mind and psychology. It is to avoid developing distorted self-conviction and being carried away by emotions out of ignorance.